night of soup. <laughs> I remember soup. My name is Kelsey. I run the Instagram, Hunger Games KE. I also am on TikTok now at the same username. My name is Loretta Loeda, otherwise known as Lucky Lefty on TikTok. And I'm very excited to get to trivia with you all. Let's get started. The first round is going to be multiple choice. What is the name of Prim's goat? It's Lady. It is Lady. <laughs> you can remember because they survived by selling milk and cheese off the goat, which they couldn't do if the goat wasn't a little lady. That's really cute. <laughs> what is the name of the capital citizen who interviews Katniss before the games? That was totally you. Thank you. <laughs> um, the answer is D, Scissor Flickerman, son of Lucky Flickerman. A nepotism baby. But we love that, don't we? <laughs> what is a mute capital slave called? Oh no, I didn't mean to throw it. <laughs> Be a box. Yay. Who gave Snow the nickname Corio? I think C. Tigress. I'm not 100% confident, but Tigress affectionately refers to Coriolanus as Corio throughout the book. I thought so too. Are we correct? <laughs> Yay! Of these four, who is not on Katniss's prep team? C. Portia. Portia is PETA stylist. It's hard to remember the names It sometimes. is hard to remember. Like, so. They all sound like va vaguely similar, like Fulvia, Octavia. Don't worry, nothing bad is gonna happen if you get it wrong. They're not gonna release mutations on us for the entertainment of them. <laughs> what color are Mockingjays? Black. Mm. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna say be black and white. Is that correct? Oh. Uh, yo, that was good. The Hanging Tree was written by that was you. D. Lucy Gray. Written about Arlo Chance, but applicable to many characters. Applicable <laughs> to a lot of things. Yes. Right? <laughs> In Mockingjay, after Peta is rescued from the capital, who is the only person who can calm him down? It's a C, Deli Cartwright, because he doesn't have any hijacking memories associated with Deli Cartwright. Yeah, because Prim, he, just, he was like, literally leave. Round two is real or not real. Katniss and Gale lose their fathers in the same mining accident. Real, they do. They're orphaned at the exact same time. I mean, not orphaned, because their mothers are still alive. Yeah, I was gonna they're, say. Um, <laughs> they're left fatherless at the exact same time. I mean, Katniss's mom was pretty idle. Katniss got the Mockingjay pin as a gift from Cinna. Not real. <laughs> the pin was actually given to her by Madge in the books, but Madge was not in the movies. The bread that Peta burns for Katniss when she's starving has cheese woven into it. I'm going to say not real. I think it has nuts interwoven with it. I do know that it was like expensive bread. That's one of the reasons his mother hits him. Hits him. It's not real. It's not real. The bread that he burnt for her had nuts and raisins in it. Nuts and raisins. Katniss once challenged a bear over the rights to a beehive. Real. I do believe she mentions the beef she has with this bear. But it is real. I remember the cave in the book. She was like, telling him random stories. Yeah. And then it went like four pages on the go. After the games, Hamish had a huge fight with the capital over Katniss's breasts. Yes, he does. They basically allude to wanting to give her a breast augmentation, and he says no. And he's able to win, thankfully. And then Peta had to lose his leg. Katniss completely lost her hearing in her right ear during the 74th games. Real? The answer was not real because she actually lost her hearing in her left ear. Oh. <laughs> Finnick removes Katniss's tracker in Catching Fire. Not real. It is Joanna. Yes. And Katniss is really salty towards Joanna at first because she thinks <laughs> that think she's she trying will. to kill her. I'm glad that we're doing this and not competing in the Hunger Games because uh, I'm adamant that I would not survive that. So this next one is fill in the blank. Gail's nickname for Katniss is blank. I don't think she likes that nickname. She doesn't. <laughs> like, she, she never responds him. positively in the books when he calls her that. Katniss's favorite capital food is blank. I actually don't remember this. <laughs> some kind of soup. <laughs> I remember <laughs> soup for some reason. Oh God. It's like when you're playing like a game where you have to guess a word and like there's just that one word that keeps popping in your head over and over and over. Yeah. Mine was plum. Ooh. 
It actually might be something with plums. It's lamb stew with dried plums. Ooh, okay, yeah, you were on the right path. Wait! Oh, so you guys have a point. Congratulations. <gasps> Thank you. Oh my god, yeah. I'm honored. After winning her games, Inabaria had her blank cosmetically altered. That's so cool. There was a really interesting debate question I was once asked. Because tributes aren't allowed to have weapons in the arena, do Inabaria's teeth count? Uh, I go with yes. To detonate Boggs's hollow, say blank. The answer is Nightlock, Nightlock, Nightlock. So Kelsey got it right. Got to add it the three times. <laughs> I was hesitating, I really was. Joanna's derogatory nickname for virus is blank. What does she call her? Kelsey got it right. Not because she calls nuts and bolts. She calls Beady and Virus nuts and bolts, but I couldn't remember who is nuts and who is bolts. Gail Hawthorne has blank siblings. Ooh, I remember exactly how many brothers he had. The answer is three. Oh, wait, did you I do know, four? I, I did four because I knew he had three younger brothers, but I couldn't remember if he had a sister. And I was like, maybe he has a sister. Yeah. <laughs> On May eighth, I went to the Justice Building, signed up for my blank and pulled home my first batch of grain and oil in Prim's toy wagon. It's Tesserae. And Tesserae. Basically, if your family was like starving and needed food, you could get some extra food in exchange for your name being inputted into the reaping bowl multiple times. But the problem is the entries are cumulative, so it doesn't refresh every year. Yeah, that's why Gail had a rough one. There were blank tributes in the 50th Hunger Games. What is it? Loretta got it right. 48. So you have 12 districts, two tributes a district. The plot twist in the 50th Hunger Games was that double the tributes would be reaped. So from 24, you have 48. All right, we're moving on to round four, and this is going to be who said it. Don't worry. I've saved him for you. I also was blanking pretty hard. I don't know who it was. The answer is President Coin. President Coin. <gasps> I definitely remember that. Yes. Well, if you put enough pressure on coal, it turns to pearls. Aww. Our beloved Effie Trinket. Well, that quote is the reason that PETA gives Katniss a pearl in Catching Fire. It's like a reference to that inside joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that and just like you can tell based on the voice too and like the, the mannerism <laughs> and the fact that she like also tries to like find positives and things that like absolutely have no positives. Well, you know what they say. The show's not over until the Mockingjay sings. Kelsey got it right. Lucy Gray. Oh, we're including Ballad in this. <laughs> I thought it was something that Caesar might have told Katniss like during like an interview. It takes 10 times as long to put yourself back together as it does to fall apart. I feel like this is a trick. I feel like multiple characters could have said this. <laughs> yeah. Kelsey got it. What was it? Yay! And it go dare. It was between him and Katniss in my head. At what point did he realize the exact degree of your indifference? The answer is President Snow. It's when he goes to talk to Katniss at her house to catch That was fire. literally what I was gonna write. <laughs> it sounded very sophisticated, but also like precise. Because when he sings, even the birds stop to listen. It's actually his dad. Oh, his dad. But oh, Peter yeah. is the one who tells that story to yeah. Katniss. Mr. Malark is in love with Katniss's mother. Yeah. But when he's talking about Katniss's father, he remarks how he's a very gentle man and that he has a beautiful singing voice, that even when he sings, the birds themselves turn to listen. Mm -hmm. And he understands why she fell in love with him. So for this round, I'm going to give you a character's name and you have to tell me what district they're from. First up, Rue. <laughs> oh. District 11. Yep, that's correct. BT. Three. Yep. Foxface. District five. Maisily Donner. Um, oh, District 12. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. Get on, get stuck. And the final one is Sejanus Plinth. Oh. Two. Yeah, good job. Love my boy Sejanus. Love Sejanus. 
Thank you all for letting me discuss some trivia from The Hunger Games with you. I hope this educated you a little bit more about the series. I think it's a super fun thing to learn about, and I think it's just really fun to talk about with other people. At the end of the day, I just I wanted to have fun, so that's all that and really you did. matters. And I feel like we, we were so close together. Sure. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, you're definitely going to enjoy listening to the books on Audible.